and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky karma. That's right, this is going to be our first time playing Karma uh, with the new Shadow Isles KDA card, Go Hard, where we are going to be uh, trying to play this a few times, draining one from the opponent, and once we've cast three copies, then it gets transformed into Pack Your Bags. This is particularly powerful with Karma, because whenever you have a leveled up Karma, you will cast um, multiple, you know, you double, you play two of them. You play an additional copy of each one of the spells, and so you can play an additional go hard so that, um, you know, counts as two towards transforming. Or you can play, if the first one that you play is your third one, then the fourth one, you know, will be the, the pack your bags instead of the go hard. And pack your bags is, is, of course, really powerful, dealing five to all enemies and the enemy nexus. So that's kind of the one of the combos in the deck. We're playing another KDA card with go get it, where go get it can... Um, we can use that with Karma or Rekindler. It's really powerful with Rekindler, but with Karma, we can uh, put, car put our original Karma back into our hand, put an ephemeral one out there, and then we can play some extra um, Karmas inside of Ages, or we can like attack with that one and replay a Karma. Uh, we, we can get some extra Karmas and stuff. Um, we Besides Karma... Because we're going to need other ways to win the game. We have Ledros combos. So we have one Atrocity, two Ledros to help us finish out games as well. Um, but then besides that, a bunch of card draw and stuff like that. A couple of, couple of card choices that you don't really see in these decks. We're playing two Glimpse Beyond because because really we need to draw cards and we need to find Karma. And there's, there's honestly not very much card draw in Ionia and Shadow Isles. Like there's Deep Meditation, but that's kind of about it. So we're going with Glimpse Beyond. And going with Warden's Prey. Now, a lot of people play like Hapless Aristocrat in this slot. I just think that Warden's Prey is a um, superior card to Hapless Aristocrat. Hapless Aristocrat, you will always get a 1-1 afterwards. And sometimes with Warden's Prey, you will get cards that are worse than a 1-1. Like there's like you could get like the Undying, which I guess if you're playing a Control Mirror, maybe you like it. But for the most part, probably going to be worse than a 1-1 with blocking. You can get the 0-1, the, the Caustic Cask. That's going to be worse. Shark Chariot. That's going to be worse. So there are a couple of options. <clears throat> but that's only like three out of like the 12 things you can get, right? So it's like 25% of the time it's worse than Hapless Aristocrat. And 75% of the time it's going to be better. Where we get some some really impactful cards. Especially like Averroes and Sentry is one that, that's awesome. Or Legion Grenadier. Um, you can get some really good blockers with Warden's Prey. And so we're going to, going to be playing... Uh, Warden's Prey over Hapless Aristocrat. Um, nope, no Thresh. Uh, Thresh is good. I do like Thresh. Um, the, the person that donated for this deck didn't have Thresh, so they had, they're going with Ledros and stuff instead. Um, we do have lots and lots of five mana cards anyway, so I'm fine with that. All right, but anyway, that's Spooky Karma. Let's get to the games because these are probably going to be some longer ones. We're going to play five of them, hopefully go three and two or better and finish out a day of all winning records. That would be amazing. Um, looking at the Mobilitics results, though, Spooky Karma doesn't have a very good win rate. Usually hovering in the low 40s. Um, so it's predicting that we're going to go 2 and five, two and 3, but we're going to try to do better. All right, none of these look like they're going to be very good against Misfortune Quinn right away. But I guess maybe we just have to keep Karma because because of how important it is to find Karma. So maybe we just have to keep it. Because I don't want to mulligan karma, and then we just never find karma. New recruit reporting in. That'd be sad. A real battle. Work. If they use Ranger's Resolve right there, it's better than them using Ranger's Resolve on the Withering Whale later. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. No, nope, probably not good at all. Um... All right, so we're gonna stun the two-two, so they don't get to attack with that, so they don't get any attacks with Misfortune, because obviously they don't want to attack with Misfortune and into the tail of the dragon. We'll keep them from getting an attack there. I'll write my own story. 
Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Hmm. So you don't get ruination until next turn. But we're still at 19. I ought to show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Bell! Still heart, steady aim. I see everything. Love ya. That worked out pretty well for us. We're down to 11. I like the concussive palm. I will try to keep that misfortune from leveling up. We'll stun that, and I'll trade three threes if they want to trade three threes. If they play a spell like a repost or you know whatever a pl the plus two plus two thing, something that makes their bannerman better than my three two, I'll use glimpse beyond. Okay. The dragon lives. Mm. Probably do that on defense. We can also go get it, put this back into my hand, and get a new concussive palm again. So that's also kind of a neat little party trick we can do. Could definitely see them playing Rally. Like, I go Karma, they go Rally. I've got your back. This could really not pay off if they just go single combat. I guess I didn't, I didn't even think about that until after I started doing that also. That's that's a bad play against single combat. All right, so we got a concussive palm again. And now we have like the ephemeral blocker, which is obviously a very good blocker. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. All right, gonna go ahead and and just cast that now. Show them our now these deep meditations will cost um will cost three mana now. So now we'll be able to play Karma and then have three mana deep meditation. The answer lies within. Ionia speaks through me. I only have one other ruination in the deck. I think there's only two of them in here. Yeah, there's just two ruinations in here. Okay. I didn't want to fight through it though. All right, and there's a win. We knew it would be so. That'd be as about as fast as we're gonna win. Ooh. All right, we're gonna need the one damage things, the nexus health things. We're gonna need, you know, like our grass, the undying, withering whale. Are too expensive. I mean, I guess Eye of the Dragon is good, and I guess Concussive Palm is good. But where's our Go Hard and Vile Feast and Grass the Undying and Withering Whale? Those would be the four cards that I'd want more than any others. I don't. I don't think we can mulligan Eye of the Dragon though. It's gotta be a win so far that the first two turns they only attacked for two. Glimpse Beyond can be good with Dragoling. What does he want from me? I don't know. Draven, I love you! Me too, kiddo. Me too. Man, how 
Are we playing two spells? I guess Concussive Palm, Grasp of the Undying. That can be our two spells. Axis, or sorry, Glimpse right Beyond. Up. We'll Glimpse Beyond the Warden's Prey. Conservator is a great hit. the Vile Feast draw, so I get to Deep Meditation and Vile Feast. I stand for mm, then I I'm at 6 mana next turn. Joker. So I don't get to... If I do that, I don't get to Vengeance. I need I need to play this while cost 3. Okay, cool. I have that to stun. You can just play 1-1 one, one Elusive, but... I have that to stun the crowd favorite. Yep, we got two two Ledros and one Atrocity. That was just an, another way to finish games out. What is gained when you return malevolence? Watch and learn. Help the poor. This is awesome. Possibly I should have just used the Vile Feast on the zero two. Okay, now they're just gonna do that, so. All right, we're gonna stun you. We're gonna block you. Block you. Let me go down to 18. I guess that's it. Feel the rush. This is why you play Warden's Prey. This is why Warden's Prey is better than Hapless Aristocrat. Not saying this is gonna happen all the time, but sometimes you just get a field of rush. I gotta work with this joker. Hmm. Would have been a good time for ruination. So if I play two spells, we get a draggling next turn. We'll bring peace to Ionia. I'm gonna get Karma in play. Cost. And probably have Karma die, which will set up. I'm on the verge of Set up Rekindler. That would have been something that would have been amazing to deny the three damage and draw three. Keep them from, especially, you know, keeping them from drawing three. Got axes, need victims, but my experiments. You cannot win. Your attack is obvious. Ready yourself. All right. Going down to seven. So next turn I play Ledros, and the turn after I Atrocity and kill them. I think that should work, as long as they, you know, don't have five burn spell at me. Hopefully that works. I think it will. Oh, we're playing Teemo. Yeah, now we got Deny back up. Have this. All because the two damage that the Draggling did. 
Oh, right. Whirling Death. Shouldn't have blocked. If that last card's another Whirling Death. Yeah, there's no reason to block, because obviously we just take Lethal anyway. Alright, that'll do. Zero to negative ten. Zero loses. Look at our spooky karma deck go. Trundle Ash. So going with like a Frostbite deck, but with Trundle. Alright, definitely keeping Ruination. I don't know, maybe I should be keeping like Deep Meditation and stuff too. What are you so excited about? The trap is set. Hot on the trail. Yeah, I just saw just you know like a regular car drive by, I think. <laughs> Dog's gonna dog. What you gonna do? Joke the bait. Play another Avarosen Trappa when they come fully. Uh, I'm gonna just pass. Not doing too much. So they should have a couple one mana five fives coming up. What time is it? Okay, two o'clock. I'm through waiting. Your attack is obvious. So yeah, so now they should have some one mana five fives. The thing is, is like I'm, while I am kind of representing Ruination, I'm not representing Ruination as much as I normal as like normal, because I have just played like the, this exact same all six turns I've just passed. All right, so we do get Ruination out of there. We do get Ruination here with those three, but you know they'll be able to play one mana five five. And so they're going to be able to really unload here with a bunch of 1-mana 5-5s. Five That's good. Especially they do not cooling strike my Eye of the Dragon. Alright, that worked fairly well. Yeah, so obviously they're playing that card. I'd rather just do 2 damage to this thing and turn this into an 06 than do 2 damage to them. Um, that, you know, could be a mistake if we draw Ledros to go with that atrocity. But why? Ionia speaks through me. Oh, Captain Farron's pretty awesome. This is what I usually do to people is um, you know, play Captain Farron. And have a bunch of success with it. So I guess that makes sense that they get to do that against me. I don't think there's anything I can draw with four mana. I think this game's just over. If I would have just played Grass the Undying and nah, they would just challenge my Draggling. 
The dragon binds us. So that course puts me to three. They have the ability to cast multiple decimates. Um, yeah, this this game's over. All right, two and one. We have learned as much as we have suffered. All right, looks like we're playing against some Braum. So no other champions besides Braum. I could see this deck playing something like Entreat. Or things like that. Um, but, you know, we're a control mirror. Like, it looks like this is going to be a control mirror, I would think. And if so, having Ledros, Karma, Deny, all these things are awesome in control mirrors. So hopefully we don't die to Avros and Sentry too fast. Oh, it's a Poro deck. Well, yeah, it's kind of thinking of it like the, being like the Brahma Nivia deck. But I guess it's a Poro deck. Well, this hand's not looking so good against Poros. Wish I would have kept some more of those one damage things. You can see the Nebastian border from here. <laughs> Trust me, they are dope. I see every move. Wow. Would you believe he once bit in my hand? Gave me quite a fright. Not the best hand, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess we don't really want only Karma's Rekindler, Ledros, Denies. I guess they are an aggressive deck. I don't really even want to give them extra cards, but I guess so. Alert the villains. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Good job, Karma. So I could play new Karma or I could play Rekindler. Gave me quite a fright. New Karma would allow me to play Go Hard. We burn. Have Rekindler the next turn. Uh, we'll just play Rekindler. I do feel like we're not going to be able to unload our hand fast enough. Come from the dark. So close for this fresh offering, so close. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after after whenever I mulliganed and kept karma and I mulliganed the other three cards, our first three cards plus uh you know the, the other three cards have replaced our hand plus our first draw step were Ledros deny deny Ledros. And I don't think that that is very ideal. Alright, so I was I you know, past thinking that maybe Ruination, but obviously we don't need Ruination. We do have the Atrocity.
guess. And playing against scouts. This will be really, really good if we can somehow win this game and get a 3 2. Hopefully that's the case. Love the grass, the undying. Cards are just too expensive. Protect and strike. In this deck, like everything, you know, everything just costs five, six, seven mana, nine. That's a big problem with this deck. Everything just costs way too much mana. I'm surprised they passed as well. All right, let's mess some folks up. Of course, we get a draggling now. Breathe in, breathe out. Go get him, draggling. No prey. No. Cannot ruination next turn. That's okay. Protect and strike. I was scared of going grass the undying and then and, you know like they had the mana for like repost and things like that that's what I was scared of. You're covered. Alright. Kill that. I'll be damned. Honor guide me. I don't think I block with Eye of the Dragon and I know that there's cards that can can kill me. Probably. But I don't think I block with Eye of the Dragon. So that does two damage to me, because we just don't we don't heal any. So if I play this, we have seven mana next turn. The chains, they never stop. I mean if they if they put the repost on something else, they would have put me down to one. I'm playing the Warden's Prey over Unspeakable Horror um, because I, I do think it's a better blocker. I think that I, I actually like the Warden's Prey more, and I think that it's a uh, it's an important card for Glimpse Beyond because I want ways to be able to dig through the deck to find Karma, and and it's I want cards that actually draw cards, and so we have Glimpse Beyond in here, and so we need we need more ways to enable Glimpse Beyond, and so the Warden's Prey does that. The spirit gives to those who listen. Looking for trouble? It found you. All right, well, at least we won two. That's that's not too bad. So we won two games. Um, I just, I'm just not too big of a fan of, of the deck myself. Uh, it, it just seems, it's it does feel too too slow. It really does. It feels too slow, too expensive. Um, you know, like, as you can see, we have 
14 total cards in our deck that don't cost four mana and it's just really hard to compete when everybody else has really efficient threats that do a ton of damage that are very fast it's very hard to compete with that and uh karma uh itself as you saw with all of those games even though the ones that we won karma didn't do anything really yeah i mean it's a it's yes yeah, so the deck's okay you know you, w with this kind of deck you know you need you do need your cards to line up well right like you, and you need you need to just kind of get lucky basically you need your stuff to line up you know, like we had grass the undying multiple times for like misfortune but we couldn't you know couldn't kill it um kind of thing you know like like our go hard would have been great against like that uh uh fleet feather tracker early and you know like things things could have been a lot better but they had the rangers resolve right that that stopped my go hard and you you basically just need you just need your cards to line up well and you know, like so whenever it does then then you win it and i think that i think that a main reason people like playing spooky karma is that if you do have things line up and you get to the late game and you're going to win you usually win for a very long time right like with karma you're not killing your opponent very fast but you're able to just play a whole lot of inside of ages and drown your opponent out by just getting lots and lots of cards you spend in the games like the games that you lose you lose them in five minutes the games that you win you get to you get to be winning for 20 minutes and so like you know you you play four games and you win you win one of them and you lose the other three but you still spent more more total time winning than you did losing and so it feels good so like <laughs> those games that you win that you get to play for 20 minutes of, of you just winning and and everything are, are uh you know pe people enjoy that and it you know you get to sit back and do that but anyway there we go that's spooky karma um, I liked the Ledros. I like Ledros Atrocity. That that definitely stole a game for us. Like that the second the second game that we won, we we normally wouldn't be winning with the Spooky Karma deck. Those definitely stole the game for us. It, I did just want more Withering Whales and Grass the Undyings. Both these cards are awesome. I really didn't care for the Go Get It at all. I I, I think the Go Get It would have been a lot better as more Withering Whale and Grasp. Um, both those cards are awesome, especially like you know your leveled up Karma. You know, casting, you know, being like two damage, heal your next to six, you know, like that kind of stuff. I was, I was very disappointed with the go get it. I guess it's supposed to be so like, yeah, you go get it, you're a rekindler and you get more karmas. But if I ever have like rekindler karma and, and like we untap and then we're also playing a five mana spell that they don't interact with. It's like, I'm, I'm not really too worried about the game at that point. Like if we get, if we actually will get to that point and be alive in a game. Sure, but it's just that that seemed from <laughs> playing those games that just seemed like miles away and our go gets were just sitting in our hand doing nothing uh, yeah i mean I, I love thresh i think thresh is awesome could definitely play thresh instead i would not cut any denies deny is amazing in this metagame there's a lot of shadow Isles control decks and stuff in, in this and ramp and things like that i would i would play three denies for sure in this deck i would be happy playing zero go get it's you could play Thresh instead of Go Get It. That Thresh would have been a lot better. Anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.